guys, what's up? My name's Taylor Whitney if you're new here and if you're not, welcome back to my channel. So earlier in the year, I posted a video and it was called crocheting things that you've probably seen on Pinterest. And it was basically where I just recreated viral crochet pieces. And you guys seemed to really like that video. So I thought, why not add on to it and make a part two because your girl has not crocheted in a hot minute. And what better way to get back into my hot girl crochet era than to make another crochet video. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I have found three items on Pinterest that I'm going to be recreating and they are pretty simple and easy too. So you guys could definitely make these items as well. But yeah, I'm going to stop rambling so we can just get right into the video. So guys, the first thing I'm going to be crocheting is this super cute tulip headband. I'm actually obsessed with this and I'm so excited to make it because it's just so adorable. And so I'm going to be using pastel pink yarn, sage green yarn, and plain white yarn. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm just going to start out with my white yarn and I'm going to make a slip knot. And then I'm going to chain the length around my head so I'm just kind of gonna eyeball it because I didn't actually like measure around my head so we're just gonna wing it so now this chain is finished I actually made it a little shorter than how long all the way around my head would be because we're not gonna make the entire headband be like the tulip part you'll see when I'm done what I'm talking about but now I'm just gonna do another row of white and I'm just doing single crochet with this all the way down the chain. So now I'm done with the second row of white. Now I'm just gonna do a slip stitch to close it off. And now we're done with the white for now. Now we're moving into the stem color and I'm using green. So basically for the stem, I am gonna start off with a slip knot and I'm going to go into the last white single crochet and I'm gonna pull it through and then I'm going to chain two and I'm sort of like weaving this extra little end in as I go just because I hate doing that later and then I am going to go into the very next one and do a double crochet and then I'm going to chain one and do a double crochet into the exact same single crochet that you were just in. So you should have two double crochets in the one stitch here. Now I'm just going to skip a stitch and do double crochet into the next stitch and then chain one and do a double crochet into the same stitch. And then you basically are just going to keep repeating that until you have a whole row of these little V-shaped stitches. So guys, now I am finished with the tulip stems. Now I'm just going to close it off with a slip stitch. And now the row of stems are done. Now we're moving on to the actual tulip part. And I'm using this cutesy pink skein. First, as always, we're going to start off with a slip knot. Then we are going to start at the beginning of the project. We're going to go into that first double crochet there. We're going to chain two. Next, we're going to do a double crochet into that first little V shape there. But then we're going to stop after you pull through two. And you're going to yarn over, go in for another double crochet, but only do half of it. So now we have three loops on our hook. We're going to do this until we have five. So now we have five loops. We're going to yarn over and pull through all of them. And then we have the little tulip shape. We're going to close this off by doing a chain. And then we're going to do the same exact thing in the next V. We're going to do a double crochet, but only do half of it. And then continue until we have five loops on your hook. Once you have five, you're going to yarn over and then pull through all of them. Then you're just going to continue the same exact method all the way down the row. 
and we're all done now we just need to do another row of white so to start off with the white you're just going to do a slip knot and then we're going to start at the beginning of the project here and we're going to chain two and then in this first little opening you are going to do a half double crochet in this next little opening here we're going to do three half double crochets Then you're gonna repeat the same thing into this next opening. So now that we have this, we're just going to repeat it all the way down the entire project. Okay guys, so now the very last row is finished. I'm just gonna add little ties to the side so it can actually be a headband. And so to do that, I am going in with a white. I'm gonna do a slip knot. I'm gonna go into the middle of the headband here. And I'm just going to make a chain. I'm just gonna eyeball this part because I don't really know how long to make it. <laughs> So I'm gonna go with that length and end it off there and then do the same thing on the other side. So I did both of the little straps, I think, the little ties. Yeah, we're gonna call them ties. And I also decided to weave in all the ends, so that is done. This is so cute. I'm gonna go try it on and see what it looks like. Okay guys, so this is it on and it is so, so cute. I'm actually obsessed. It's, it's so adorable. The colors are so cute. So the next thing I will be making is this super cute white and blue star messenger bag. It is so adorable. I love the white and blue and I am so obsessed with this little star granny square pattern. So I'm so excited to be actually making something with it. But yeah, I'm just going to be using baby blue and white yarn just like how it is in the Pinterest inspo. So guys, I'm going to start off with my blue yarn and I'm going to make a magic circle next I'm gonna chain two and then I'm gonna do 14 double crochets into the circle now that I've done 14 I'm just going to pull the circle tight and then I'm going to just close it off with a slip stitch so now that I've done that I'm just going to chain five and then into the second chain from the hook, I'm going to do a single crochet and then a half double crochet on the next one, a double crochet onto the next one, and then a treble crochet on the last chain here. Then I'm just going to skip two stitches and go into this third one and close that off with a slip stitch. So I have one point of the star and we're just going to continue with that same pattern all the way around the circle. So guys, now that I have my star, I'm going to move on to the outside color, which is white. And this is what's actually going to turn it into a square. Now I'm just going to make a slip knot. And then I'm going to go in the top of one of the points and I'm going to make a slip stitch. Then I'm just going to chain one, do a half double crochet into this stitch right here. Then I'm going to do a double crochet into the next one. Now I'm going to do a treble crochet into the next stitch. And then another treble crochet, but this time we're going to be going into the next two stitches. Then another treble crochet into the next stitch. A double crochet a half double crochet and then do a single crochet into the top of the point 
So that is basically how we're going to start off the square. So now I'm just gonna repeat the same thing all the way around each of the points. So guys, I just finished the last stitch of this little section. Now I am just going to close it off with a slip stitch. And now I can start making this into an actual square. So I'm just going to chain one and then I'm going to half double crochet into the next stitch. Then I'm going to double crochet into the next stitch and then treble crochet into the next stitch. Now I'm going to do another treble crochet, chain two, and then treble crochet into the exact same stitch. Then I'm basically gonna do the same exact thing I did here, but the opposite way. So I'm gonna do treble crochet, a double crochet, a half double crochet, and then I'm going to do a single crochet. So now it should look like the corner of a granny square. And I'm just gonna repeat that same exact method for all four corners. Okay guys, so now I'm just gonna end it off with a slip stitch. And I know it looks a little wonky right now, but that's just because I didn't do the tightest stitches. But I honestly want my square to be a little bigger, so I'm gonna go around the whole thing with half double crochet. Just kind of giving it like a border. So now that I have one square done, I am going to do the same exact thing all over again and I'm going to make another one of these. So I'll be back when I'm done with that. So the two star squares are done. They definitely look a little wonky. I think I might have messed up a couple stitches honestly, but it's not really worth redoing the whole squares over because once the whole project's together, you're not really going to see those small little mistakes. But now what I'm going to do is make the back side of the bag and I'm not going to do stars on both sides. I'm only doing them on the front. So I'm going to make two plain white granny squares. So if you don't know how to crochet a granny square, it's pretty simple. So first I'm going to do a slip knot then I'm going to chain four and then I'm just going to connect the first chain I made with the last chain that I made now we have a little circle you could also just do a magic circle instead of this but I prefer doing this so next you're gonna do three double crochets into the circle then you're going to chain two and then do three more double crochets into the circle. And then you're just gonna repeat that two more times until we have a square-like shape. So it should basically look like this when you're done. Now I'm just gonna flip this around and then do three double crochets into this little hole right here. Then I'm going to chain two. Then do three double crochets in the same hole. And basically you're just going to continue repeating the same method all the way around the square until you get it the size you want. And I'm just going to keep doing this until it matches up with the size of the star granny squares. So I finished the square and I think it matches up pretty good. I did have to add like a border of single crochet around it because it was almost the same size, but it wasn't small enough where I could do like another row of the double crochet cluster. So now I'm just gonna go make another one of these. The squares are done. Now I have all of these squares. I am going to put them together, not all four of them, but I'm gonna put these two together and then these two together. So now that the squares are attached, I am going to do four rows of double crochet on the top of the squares. And I'm gonna do that with my white yarn. Okay guys, so I finished the four rows, but I honestly feel like it's not enough, so I'm gonna add a fifth row. 
so I crocheted all five rows out. This side is basically done for now. Now I'm gonna do the same exact thing with these two squares. I'm just gonna do five rows of double crochet. So I finished crocheting the five rows of double crochet on these granny squares, but I'm not going to close this off just yet because the actual bag has like this flap that goes over the top and the front. So I'm going to just continue double crocheting. So I finished the extra rows of double crochet and I actually did six more. There's 11 total rows of the double crochet. So now that I have these pieces, I am going to make the little side piece that goes all the way around. And it also kind of counts as like the strap too because it's all connected. So to crochet the strap slash the like side part of the bag, I'm just going to start off with a slip knot and then I'm going to chain eight. And then I'm going to do a double crochet in all of the chains that we just made. Once I get to the end, I'm going to flip it over and then I'm going to double crochet another row. So I'm basically going to just keep repeating the same method until the length of the strip that I'm making fits all the way around the sides of the bag. And so it's the length of the strap that I want. Okay guys, so I'm finally finished with this very long strap. Now I just have to put all of the pieces together. And so I'm just going to sew this to these two pieces, even though I hate sewing. I'm just going to do it. Basically what I'm going to do is just like line up all of the edges. And then once I do that, I'm going to sew the ends of this little strip together. So guys, the bag is finally done. I think it turned out so good. It's so adorable. I absolutely love it. So the next thing I'm gonna be making is this super cute checkered wallet and I'm gonna be using pink and white yarn. So first I'm just gonna take my white and make a slip knot. And to start off, I'm just going to chain 16. And then I'm going to yarn over and do a double crochet in the chain closest to the hook. And then I'm going to do three more double crochets. But on the last double crochet, you're only going to go through two of the loops. And then you're going to take your other color. I'm going to make a slip knot. And then I'm going to pull it through the two loops on my hook. And now I'm going to double crochet four with this color now. And so I'm also going to hide these two strands underneath the double crochets. So then once I get to the fourth double crochet, I'm going to go through two of the loops and then I'm going to take my white yarn and yarn over and pull that through the other two loops. And now we're on to our white color. And we're going to do the same thing with the four double crochets, but this time we're going to hide the pink yarn underneath. So now we're going to flip the project over and basically just repeat what we did on this side, but we're just going to be matching up the same colors. So I'm going to go in with pink and do the four double crochets. So guys, we're going to flip it around again, but this time we're going to be alternating the colors. So we're going to start off with pink and we're just going to be doing that same alternating method. So now I am done with the whole checker part of the wallet. And so I just cut off the white yarn, but I kept the pink yarn on because I'm going to half double crochet an entire border around this piece.
All right guys, so I finished the half double crochet border and now I'm gonna work on making the pockets. So I'm just gonna start out by making a slip knot and then I'm going to chain 17. So now I am just going to do seven rows of double crochet. So the first pocket is done. Now I'm going to make another one doing the exact same step. And voila, we have two little pockets. Now we just have to sew them onto the checkered part and then the wallet is pretty much finished. So the wallet is finished. I think eventually I am gonna add like a little magnet or a little button here just so it can snap closed. But I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. So just imagine there's like a little snap button right there. But yeah, this is so cute. I think it turned out really great. All right guys, so that is going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this gave you guys some crochet inspiration. If you guys made it this far into the video, comment down below this amount emoji right here and if you guys did enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of my face in the future i hope you guys have a great rest of your day bye